Hello, you close harmony fingers. A great reminder to why the 1970s is the best. No, I felt. <gasps> After the passing of their daughter, John and Laura accept a job at a church in Venice. One of the sisters who's blind claims to have seen their daughter. Though skeptical, John starts seeing a youngling in the street in the same red coat his daughter had. Premonitions, warnings, an accident at home which forces Laura to return while John stays to complete the work. But what follows for him became one of horror's most talked about moments. Today, when I was there, she she went into the most incredible trance, really Concentrate. absolutely... Concentrate. Now, John. Yes? She said that... that your life is in danger while you're in Venice. She kept on and on and on saying it. I am going to be sick. It's a very human story. No parent of good conscience should ever have to say goodbye to their child. It's a soul-destroying experience. I have been party to such an event. Though it was not my child, it was someone I held dear. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. You have these two people trying to mend by keeping busy, but clairvoyance is disrupting their grief. Images in a red coat, a funeral procession. What is happening? The Exorcist was released the same year with controversy, box office and awards. While Don't Look Now wasn't a big money earner, it still received many plaudits. People, critics, talk about two particular scenes, the ending and the sex scene. The did they or didn't they? It's been compared to The Last Tango in Paris in its explicit nature. It's not the norm. It's two people who really love each other, expressing it so well on film that we question whether the actors and director stepped into porn territory. The imagery has inspired so many filmmakers. Take this scene from Schindler's List. It's all black and white, except for this girl in red. I can't emphasize enough how great the 1970s was. Don't Look Now has made so many lists, whether it's the greatest or the scariest. Director Nicholas Rogue, this after performance and walkabout, two high profile movies. His reputation as one of Britain's best can never be denied. Thank you.